Hi, I'm Jane Fenn, author of the Shadowlands duology, which consists of Hidden Sun and Broken Shadow. I've previously mainly written science fiction. I wanted to do something slightly different and try science fantasy, which is not a term you hear very often. But I like the idea of genre bending. I like the idea of taking the best from science fiction and the best from fantasy. So that's what I'm doing here. I also like the idea of divided worlds. Um, that's something I've explored before. And when I was coming up with the ideas that went into these books, it was the time at which we were thinking about objective truth, fake news, etc. So some of that's gone in there too. The Shadowlands world is actually mainly the Skylands. The Skylands are very hot, very um, UV intensive. It's not somewhere that a normal human could survive for very long. The ecosystem there is very weird. Um, the wildlife is um, often composite beings. There are chimeras. There are all sorts of things that don't fit in with the normal idea of um, wildlife for us here. But there are humans. There are skykin. These are humans who have entered into a symbiotic relationship with the fauna of the Skylands and they can therefore live out there. Most humans, however, live in the Shadowlands. These are isolated pockets of shadow out in the Skylands. It's several days journey between any given Shadowland and another one, which means that they are quite insular. They're also quite low tech because they are, generally speaking, quite religious and the planet is very iron poor, so there's not much industry. My main protagonist is Rhea. She lives in the Shadowlands. She is a natural inquirer, which is a kind of proto-scientist. Science isn't really a thing in this culture. Mainly she has an insatiable curiosity and a drive to uncover the truth. This isn't always a good thing. She's interested in the truths that affect her personally, that of her family and the world. And she's also fascinated by the Skylands, which she does get to go to. Slight spoiler. The things that Rhea uncovers don't necessarily make her life better, but they certainly make the world more interesting. If you'd be interested in joining her on her voyage of discovery and having a look around my very strange and kooky world, then why not give the Shadowlands novels a go? Thank you.